Good evening, nieces and nephews. It's your Uncle Ed here. Yeah, buddy. Uncle Ed's here. And you know what that sound means? It's a cooking. She's a firing on all cylinders. Got a juice review for you. What I have for you this evening. Let's see if I get this. Are you seeing it nice and slow? Scarecrow by Oz Blends. Pretty cool little graphics on uh, the label. Let's take a hit. Not too shabby on the uh, vapor production. Let me go read the, uh, the description of this juice. I'm reading this off of Giant Vapes where I just so happened to purchase this bottle. Okay, Scarecrow by Ozblends. Price of a 30 mil bottle, which is all that they have listed, is $21. Comes in 0, 3, 6, 12, and 16 nick. Now, the description is as follows. He may not have a brain, but he certainly has good taste in the juice. Scarecrow is a mouth-watering, multi-layer dessert slash pastry vape that starts with an expertly crafted apple turnover, adds a light glaze, and is served up a la mode. The primary flavors are apple turnover and vanilla ice cream. This is a 70 VG, 30 PG glass bottle, not a child-proof cap. Okay. Let me click back on here, get you up. Hey, there you go. Glad to see you. Um, I had kind of high hopes about this, uh, this juice. The uh, last episode, I guess, of Giant Vakes, Mike the Hill Giants um, podcast, he had a ton of giveaways, and I do mean a ton ton of them and of course as always your uncle ed wins <laughs> nada uncle ed don't win shit anyway um oz blends were up uh was a, a part of the giveaway and so people were talking about you know of course i was reading because it was a, a, a mike the hill giant was on the video and everybody else was in the chat box next to it and Scarecrow was described by people in that group that night uh, more along the lines of an apple fritter. I figure, what the fuck? I've never had an apple fritter vape before in my life. Uh, my mother, when she was alive, she used to make apple fritters at home. And I loved them. I'm almost as much as I loved her potato pancakes, but I loved her apple fritters too. On the inhale... You're getting a subtle apple and a subtle sweetness. But there is another note that I personally don't find very... It doesn't taste that good. It's a little bit of a weird note. If you know anything about apple fritters, uh, well, I can only go by the way my mother used to make them in the cast iron frying pan with a little uh, with, uh, Crisco or whatever the fuck. I was in the pan and she dipped them in the dough and she put them in, you know, dip the apple in the batter and then put it in and fried them on the one side, flipped them over, fried them again, let it drain, uh, the oil drain off on the paper plate, uh, paper towel. And then would dust it with confectioner sugar, sugar, powdered sugar. While apple, homemade apple fritters were, um, I mean, the way my mother made, she just sliced up apples, you know, kept the core out, slice up, took the skin off, slice it kind of thin. And, you know, you, you got a little bit more dough to apple ratio. That might be what the, uh, this is. Um, the, like I said, the apple is faint. There is a pleasant sweetness. Uh, like they say, it is a mouth watering. It's not one of these juices that dries out your mouth. But there is an unpleasant note there. Almost like if you've ever eaten somewhere 
be at a fast food chain or whatever where they have a lot of fryers and uh, you got the minimum wage kids who are, uh, you know, high school kids who don't really want to work all that much. They just might add some oil to the fryer instead of changing the oil. It's a little off-putting. It, it, it's almost like that. It's like it's on the cusp where the oil should be changed. It's either that or there's a pastry note that uh, I don't find appealing. I mean, I don't really vape a lot of pastry vapes. I'll be honest with you. It is smooth. There's This is a three nick. There's no throat hit. There's no stinging out the nose. Like I said, the apple is subtle. Maybe it's the doughiness or, or, or a cakiness that I'm getting where you have the, uh, the, uh, the powdered sugar, but it seems to dissipate. Nothing is in the forefront. It seems like it's well married, but they're all, the flavors are subtle. Um... And there's that one off-putting note that I, I, I'm i not sure what it is. On the inhale, you're getting more of the, you, you get the apple, that weird note. On the exhale, it's more of the sweet, sweet note. The confectioner sugar, the powdered sugar note, that kind of makes the unpleasant note dissipate just a little bit. It leaves an odd aftertaste in your mouth because um, you're still picking up some of the sweetness, but there's no like apple note lingering. I don't think this is, in my opinion, I don't taste any vanilla ice cream whatsoever. I do get a vanilla note. I get that like little bit of sweetness and I get a faint apple and that weird note. Like I said, vapor production is good. Um, nice dense vapor. Is it an all day vape? For me, no it isn't. Simply for that weird note that I'm getting. Would I buy it again? Honestly, no, I would not. Um, I've tasted other Apple vapes out there like uh, America from Casey Jones and Pascal from Persona, even uh, uh, Duchess by Addy Ease. They're a higher tier um, to me than this juice. Now, your mileage may vary. As always, taste is subjective. But I will not buy this juice again. That aftertaste that I'm getting is not pleasant. And this juice has been steeped. I've had this juice a minimum of a month. Um, let me give it a smell. The smells are, are, is fine. You're getting a little bit of apple. A little bit of that like vanilla extract smell. Um, the aroma of the liquid itself, itself is pleasant. It's just that one note that I'm getting that I, I don't care for. Like I said, your mileage may vary. But as far as I'm concerned... With the quality of some of the other Apple vapes that are out there right now at this point in time, I will not buy this again. So, take that for what it's worth. And until next time, I will brave it again. Not brave, I, I don't want to be mean. It's a fair juice. It's just not something that I would keep in my rotation. This is something that this bottle I would probably give away. To be honest, even though I spent the twenty one, twenty one ninety nine, whatever it was for it.
So there you have it. That's my take. Until next time, live long and vapor.